Okay, today's topic, we want to prepare for a one minute to a one minute and a half response discussing roles and responsibilities among our family members, specifically family members that live with us in our household. So I want to give you some strategies today to really prepare for this minute, minute and a half response. And we're going to be looking today at a, a visual mind map or spider map, sometimes referred to as a cognitive map. Basically, it's a mental, it's a visual representation of the organizational pattern that you plan to follow in uh, preparing for your, your response. So I'm going to give you some ex examples of how you can organize your ideas this morning. And let's look at the first one. Here we have roles and responsibilities. Notice I've chosen here three family members, mom, dad, and me. Now, you could have chosen other family members. I could have perhaps chosen more, but because this is a fairly brief response, I would t rather talk a little bit more deeply about less family members in this case. So here I have mom, and I've extended my ideas here beyond, uh, beyond mom by adding what, how, and why. Now, what is going to be the chore or chores that that relate to mom. I could also include roles. Okay, I could have also written out roles and then extend roles to specific chores that relate to those roles. How, I could also write out chore and then beyond chore, I could write out different ways that the chore is completed by mom. Right here, so I could write out way. Now, I'm writing the word way. That doesn't mean that you use the word way. You could write out a very short keyword description of the way in which the chore is completed. All right, so if mom um, is taking out the trash, maybe you write out she gets up and moves the trash can in front of the house before a certain time, right? Maybe uh, the trash person comes at a certain time and you need to make sure or she needs to make sure that the trash is in front of the house by a certain time. Uh, why? Okay, so uh, reason. Now, you don't have to write out the reason. I mean, you don't write the word reason. You You would write out the actual reason. So why? Well, if we don't take out the trash, right? What's going to happen? Maybe the dogs will get into it. Maybe uh, some other problems will happen. So you can describe and elaborate on the different chores and responsibilities, right? The roles of, in this case, mom has in the household. Okay. And then similarly, we're going to do the following. We're going to do the same thing for dad and me. We're going to write out, okay, what and how and why we're going to write out what the chores are, what the responsibilities are, what the roles are, and so on. How does dad uh, complete these responsibilities and so on? Okay, so this is one way that you can write out or plan for your talk. Now, let's let's look at another, another way we can go about doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and erase... I'm going to go ahead and erase here my example, and we'll start again. We'll try a different way. What's another way? Think of another way that you can organize your ideas, right, that, um, that also relate to roles and responsibilities, because certainly this is not the only way that you have to organize your ideas on this particular topic. Like most topics, there are many different ways that you can organize your ideas, and this is no exception. So here, I think... I'll go ahead and start again writing out roles and responsibilities because this is, after all, our topic. Now, I think here I'm going to try a different approach to the way that I organize my ideas. This time, instead of organizing by family member, I'm going to go ahead and create three roles. So. I'm going to write out here earner, okay? All right, so 
earner who earns the money right to support the the uh, household all right uh, here i'm going to put household chores and here i can say something like take care of the family all right so i'm going to try in this example distinguish between what i mean by take care of the family and household chores and then the earner of the family now there could be some overlap here and we could even show some of that overlap in our mind map but here uh, we could write out, okay, so who earns the, the money in the house? All right? So um, it could be anybody in your family, right? Whoever earns money in the family, you can write out. It could be mom. It could be dad. It could be a brother. It could be a sister. It could be an aunt. Whomever it happens to be. Um, earner. So mom. Now here you can share whatever you feel comfortable sharing, but you could um, you could talk about maybe where... Or what? What does mom do? What's her profession? Maybe where she works. Again, don't share any information you don't feel comfortable sharing. Certainly, you don't have to share how much. But you could say, you know, talk about whatever you wish to talk about as it relates to what mom does, what dad does, what your aunt does to earn money in the household. Remember, we want to stick with discussing family members that live with us in the household. So household chores. Here we have uh, an option of deciding, you know, what are those chores? So we could write out, list out those chores, and then we could think of the question words. Remember the question words to help guide you in prompting you to think, okay, what could I talk about for this particular uh, element, aspect, right, of uh, the topic? So think of the question words to help prompt you. And again, I'm writing out the question words, but... You can think about, all right, chore, describe the chore. Then you can describe how the chore comes about and so on. You, oh, you also probably need to decide who does it maybe, okay? So maybe I, I, could, I need to go back and erase this and start over again and say, okay, no, I'm going to start with dad and then mom because maybe dad does a lot of household chores and I want to talk about those different chores. Maybe dad likes to wash the dishes and so on, right? So here you could write out the chores that dad does. You could write out the chores that mom does, right? Take care, all right? So who takes care of the family? Does mom take care of the family? Does a sister, right? And I'm going to write out sister here, but you could write out the, the sister, your sister's name, of course, right? And then how? This probably would want to be... You know, how does the sister take care of the family? How does mom take care of the family? Now, let's say that sister and mom take care of the family, and they both do it very similarly. Maybe it's the same way. Notice here in my mind map, I could connect that. I could say how, how this happens. You could describe it in this circle and connect it between mom and sister to say, okay, both mom and sister help take care of the family in the same way. Now, maybe they do it differently, like how. If they do it differently, then you want to separate those two and say, okay, how? This is how mom does it. This is how the sister, my sister does it. So this should give you a couple of examples of ways that you can go about creating your mind map. There really is no right or wrong way of creating a mind map. It's right if it helps you talk for one minute, a minute and a half, and it helps you organize your ideas. That is, if you are preparing for your talk here now, you could say, okay, I'm going to talk about this one first, this one second, and this one third, for example, right? I'm going to talk about uh, who earns money in the household first, then I'm going to talk about household chores, and then I'm going to finish by discussing uh, who takes care of the family, okay? So notice it's a little sloppy, and you probably want to write it out a little bit neater than what I've done here, but this gives you an idea about what how you can practice. Now, once you've completed your mind map. The next strategy is to use your phone and on your phone I'd like for you to record, use the recorder function of your cell phone and record yourself practicing 
your talk. Practicing thinking about the time. Again, you only have a minute, a minute and a half. So you should be able to practice several times on your phone. But every time you practice, I want you to save the recording. I want you to practice and then go back and listen to yourself speak. Then maybe try it again. Record yourself again and listen to yourself. As you're practicing using your cell phone, I want you to continue to go back to your mind map and add and take away, modify, change your mind your uh, mind map as necessary in order to better organize the ideas and the way that you're going to deliver your message. All right? Once you have completed the mind map and once you've recorded yourself several times and you feel confident in how you're going to deliver your response in Flipgrid. Then go to Flipgrid, this topic, and upload your video. Now, even when you upload your video, remember you're going to have many opportunities to re-record yourself. So that's even an additional way of just keep practicing saying what you want to say. Your final response, your final video to flip to this Flipgrid topic should be after many, many uh, minutes, right? Probably an hour at least in creating your mind map and modifying it and practice delivering your videos uh, after have, having said it many, many times. Again, first using your cell phone and really going back and listen to every time that you recorded yourself because it's very important to really listen to yourself, be comfortable with what you sound like, and also... Critique yourself, right? Evaluate your delivery. How did you do, right? Do you need to go back and look up a couple of keywords? Now, I didn't mention keywords, but key vocabulary words. Maybe there are some new words that you need to include in your delivery, in your uh, video. Write out those keywords also in your mind map, right? So that you are uh, getting used to using the new vocabulary uh, in, in this particular activity. Okay, so new keywords, new, new key phrases, could be phrasal verbs. Include those here in your mind map as well. Even though I haven't included it here, you could include those in uh, any way that makes sense uh, for you. All right, so give it a shot. Try these different strategies, and I look forward to hearing your responses.